Hey, crypto family, hope you guys are doing good today. So today we had a nice green day. A lot of coins rose anywhere from 1% to 15%. Um, some pretty bullish news today uh, regarding the Fed meeting. So I'm going to talk about that and some reasons why we pumped. So first of all, looking at the market, we can see that the biggest gainers for today were GMX and Polygon. GMX up 13%, Polygon up 7%. Now, even so, Bitcoin's up 2% over 17,200 and Ethereum hit that 1300 mark before going down to 1288. So again, some good action. And the main reason today was the Fed meeting. Okay, so Jerome Powell, uh, Federal Reserve Chair, he is a big, big, uh, basically target for any volatility in the market every time there's a Fed meeting. And the big focus was interest rates, right? If they're going to increase it or decrease it by the same amount come December. Well, says here, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said it makes sense to moderate the pace of our rate hikes as soon as December. So this is amazing news because basically they've been raising the rates anywhere, you know, 75 basis points. And there's even been talks of maybe 100 basis points, right? So for this to say, hey, let's start kind of tapering down and lowering those interest rate hikes is very bullish. Now it said, in its eighth and final meeting of 2022, the Federal Reserve Chair will likely raise interest rates by another 50 basis points or 0.5 percentage points. The previous four Fed rate hikes were 75 basis points or 0.75 percentage points. So again, that is a decrease from the previous four hikes, which is amazing. So it shows they are starting to taper down and they want to bring inflation down. And then it said, he said, time for moderating the pace of rate increases may come as soon as December meeting. A 50 basis point hike would lift short term rates to a target range of 4.25 uh, to 4.5 percent. Then it said Bitcoin jumped about 1% on the news. And then it said speculation over a smaller rate hike mounted in recent weeks after two consecutive lower than expected inflation reports by the U.S. Labor Department gave central bankers some relief that price pressure is starting to cool. And he said the Fed chair also said that terminal rate would be higher than previously forecast in the latest economic projections by FOMC in September, which projected rates going as high as 5%. Quote, the ultimate level of rates will need to be somewhat higher than thought at the time of the September meeting in the summary of economic projections. So again, one of the reasons why is because there has been uh, basically the jobs reports are the lowest level since January of 2021 after companies added just 120,000 jobs, 27,000 jobs in November. So something that we're going to be watching is uh, Friday, the Labor Department will publish the non-farm payrolls report in addition to the CPI next month. So it'll be the last major economic data the FOM sees before it's meeting December 13th to 14th. So Again, Friday is going to be something big to watch, as well as this FOMC meeting, December 13th to 14th. So again, people expected volatility around this meeting, and that's what we got, right? So, but at least it was talks about tapering, so got people bullish again and really looking for any catalyst they can. So hence the pump that we had today. Now, another one smaller is there's a little bit of uh, controversy about Apple basically charging... Um, charging their app developers 30% tax on app developers that make over a million dollars. And it was kind of hidden and something that's been talked about a lot, actually, but he, Elon Musk just highlighted it. And then there's supposedly talks of Apple threatened to take Twitter down from the app store. So apparently Elon Musk took a tour around Apple's HQ and they had a talk. And six hours ago, Elon posted, good conversation, among other things, we resolved the misunderstanding about Twitter potentially being removed from the app store. Tim was clear that Apple never considered doing so. So again, that's good news, right? We don't want any more FUD spinning around, especially with Twitter. It is one of the main crypto hubs for information. So good to see that Tim Cook has no, uh, basically, thoughts of removing it from the App Store. So again, just a couple little bullish catalysts for today um, that did cause this rise. So definitely something to keep in mind. Um, you know, we may come back down to levels we were, but there has been a nice rise over the past few days. So hopefully we can keep this going. Again, always take profits along the way because you never know we're going to have a reversal to the downside again because the macroeconomic environment is still shaky right now. So going to be interested to see how we close this month in December. So I'll keep you all updated. I'll release some technical analysis videos too um, over the next few videos for Bitcoin, ETH, and a couple altcoins. Leave them in the comments below which coins you want. And then please, if you haven't, like the video. I really appreciate it if, if you liked it. And then comment if you have any questions. And please subscribe if you haven't. Appreciate all my subscribers and viewers. Thank you guys so much for watching. Till next time.